The Grand Unified Field Theory and how it relates to artificial intelligence. You are invited to preview the most revolutionary supercomputer processing system based upon the toroid map. An omni four-dimensional mathematical system where the numbers are held rigid and the calculations move instead of over the stationary matrix. This new process reveals how to calculate pi as a whole number, model theta pinch fusion coils, calculate 2 to the 25th, it could have been 2 to 100th, it could have been anything, in only a few steps. Review underpinning nested vortices using discrete number interferometry fringes. I have discovered the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. Certified results from Hewlett-Packard will be presented on a new revolutionary coil that produces double the Q output over the present-day state-of-the-art standard coil, the fundamental particle responsible for being a preferred frame of reference to the universe. Okay, that's what we're covering. You can relate this to anything that interests you. Okay, God is fair ground, anything's fair ground. Can you model God? So that's the first question. Okay. And um, after this class tonight, the answer is, is you should be able to. The Grand Unified Field Theory, inexhaustible energy, end all diseases, produce unlimited food, travel anywhere in the universe, fusion, vortex energy, ionic acoustic levitation, gravitons, the ultimate fundamental particle in the universe, the underpinning geometry of the universe, morphogenic fields, flux thruster atom pulsar. Okay. This is what the rodent coil, they named it after me. I had a different name for it. That's the rodent coil. I call it the flux thruster atom pulsar, but it didn't catch on. <laughs> That's my logo, times divide plus and minus in one logo. That's because I figured out how to do all the functions of math instantly. These were certified results from Gila Packard that I am indeed getting double the output, that our mathematics, our numbers were not false, that they were authentic. They validated it. And used millions of dollars of test equipment, and this is the rodent coil without the parasitics as compared to a standard coil, showing that there is not resistance compared. There is not harmonic discordance. There is not friction. My whole goal is to get rid of friction, to get rid of resistance, is to make electricity synchronize. And the kind of electricity that I'm making is synchronized electricity. They said there would be a 20% savings in copper alone using this design for big transformers. They said even a 5% of copper would have been immense. Of course, that wasn't my goal to use alternating current. My goal was to obsolete it and get rid of it. I'm a uh, dis tear the veils down with a roaring, crashing sound kind of guy. And I, I, my goal is to replace it with a whole other type of technology, a whole other type of energy, and do it with a big noise, okay? See how steep the slope is? That's a normal coil. The rodent coil, it's a very gradual type incline. See how slow it twirls in, like water in a whirlpool, okay? It's, it's as least acute incline as you can have in winding this coil on this bit, using three parts. Normal coils, they just begin, go around, and stop where they began. But what I'm doing is I'm actually building a star, okay, which is real significant, okay. And now here's the thing. Once you pass in the spire here and it crosses to here, this winding is at a right angle to that winding. All my fields now have a unique angle to them. And on top of it, I'm creating, though you can't see it, I do have a chart on it, an invisible polarization in between the spires where they pass each other. This is the construct for perfection for everything in the universe is based on that, which you will know s shortly. What they were shocked at Hewlett Packard is nobody could even say it's because of this. They tried to make up, they said there must be some other reason. Everybody said, but they came to the conclusion, it's what I've said from the beginning, it is the geometry alone of the wire that's producing all this extra magnetism. The topic is called point energy creation physics. My company is aerodynamics. It's not the air in the atmosphere, it's the lumiferous ether, as our very informative gentleman friend Alistair was mentioning, but it's an inertia ether on top of that. It's not a static stationary ether. The conventional education and training that everyone had is they still related to kind of as like a loquacious jello. I hate saying calling something a loquacious jello, but you know, with jello food colors and everything else, it's not a jello, the, this invisible fluid. It's a pulse, it's a surge, and it has a uh, a vector, has a phasing, it has every attribute and property that we could imagine. This energy is the only thing that comes from the whole, from zero. 
the vortex. It goes out linearly in all directions. It does, nothing can resist it. Nothing can resist it. It penetrates everything. It leaves its reticulation pattern. It leaves a grain. It animates everything. It is the source of the non-decaying spin of the electron. You take this energy away and the universe will become destitute and void. The whole topic today is about the number nine. What? Now, number nine's but a big mystique in everything we know. Cloud nine, a love potion number nine, um, the most great name of God equals number nine. This is some of my places where I've taught. Airspace America, George Bush was the master of ceremonies. There was 30 congressmen pregnant. Present, pregnant was like it. They all had. Well, I was just going to say they all had red jackets and black ties. Um, it was, it wasn't really all that that pretty, really. And uh, they, I, everyone had. I had like my own huge <laughs> dining room table. It was not. It was just hard work, and and nobody understood a thing anyway. But they said I had the most revolutionary propulsion system ever created. They understand very, very little of my work. Very little. <coughs> But they immediately identify, they've had certain experiences in their life over their 10, 20, 30, 40 years in their profession. And as soon as they see the work and they look at it, it makes a connection of something happened 10 years ago. Like the, the president of an organization, Bob Ulick, said, I had the most detail and quality ever done on Torah. It was the best he ever saw. Then he goes on and tells me about the story about how this man was working on the same thing and the military held him captive and he had to actually climb out over the fence to get out of that camp compound. All these weird things. But I get all these incredible compliments. But do they really understand my work? No, they don't. And that's what my goal is. Okay, my goal is not, I went here to get my work understood, not to get these endorsements. I started at the top because I thought it would be the easiest. Okay, actually the easiest is educating you. I've learned a lesson.